Good afternoon to everybody. I'm Stefano Ferrari. I am the uh, Research and Development Coordinator of uh, ISVEA, a task and company highly specialized in analytical services for the wine growing sector. In this brief presentation, I will show the main results achieved by the development of what we call remote wine analysis, or RWA, an Internet of Things architecture and that's simplifying the analytical control in wine production, allowing time and money saving during winemaking. This development, of course, benefits from the contribution of IOF 2020 grants, of which it constituted a part of use case 3.2, big wine optimization, started in 2017 and now at its final steps. So you might ask, well, what is Isvea? Uh, Isvea is a company uh, founded in 1997 from a pre-existing analogical laboratory dating back to the 70s, which was dedicated to daily wine production analysis, standing out for reliability and speed of response. Uh, after its foundation, the company has developed a lot in the agri-food analysis while maintaining always a very strong specialization in the wine sector. It has greatly expanded its offer and its uh, customer portfolio, officially accrediting itself for the credibility of its services, as, as well as obtaining the recognition of many international research institutions. The, the knowledge of the wine sector and the expertise developed by the company over time were the premises for the conception of the remote wine analysis project. Well, transformation of grape into wine is one of the most complex and often also long lasting in agri-food. Uh, and this transformation process is the original context of, of uh, uh, remote wine analysis. Many variables can affect the quality of the process and therefore they must be kept under control. But one of the fundamental control strategies is to frequently monitor the basic chemical composition of the product. We have to keep in mind that frequent basic composition control means in certain periods of the year, multiple daily assessments to monitor the more or less fast transformations taking place. Of course, in other periods, these assessments must be anyway processed, although not that frequently. In a small or medium small winery, it involves transfer of samples to an external laboratory that entails significant costs, energy consumption, wine waste, but above all, a lot of time, often to the detriment of other tasks, since in a small winery, a single person can have agricultural, analogical, commercial, or administrative tasks at the same time. This ultimately results in less frequent checks, therefore in increased risks. On the other side, in medium, large, or large wineries, there's often an internal laboratory led by specialized technicians using either dedicated methods, which require long times, high expertise, high regions in wine consumption or multi-parametric instruments, which have high costs, require frequent maintenance, have sometimes little known database consistency, depends on which kind of instrument. But finally, anyway, need good skills by the operators. Often the use of multi-parametrics can become self-referential where cross checks with use of dedicated methods are not carried out frequently enough. Then also in this case, we're talking again about high costs and time wastes. And if the winery size also involves a considerable team, a time and activity of exchange of information and instructions. The project of remote one analysis, as, as it was developed by Isvea and Binidea, has the objective to simplify the activity described so far, 
reducing the associated time waste and costs. Its IoT basic concept consists in a flow of data that takes off and lands in the cellar. Certainly around it, some requirements had to be met in order to be implemented efficiently. As first, the choice of the appropriate analytical technique is strategic to generate a rich enough data source. It must be repeatable and must require no or very little sample pretreatment. Another preliminary requirement is the availability of a reader, which means a detector properly aligned with the already operating pool of instruments present in the network. Actually, the most appropriate technique appears to be the spectrometry or spectrophotometry. But as said before, at the same time, it's very important to be in the condition to work on undisturbed sample. Then it's fundamental to develop a processing algorithm robust enough to reduce the average error to a significantly lower value than the uncertainty of the reference method. ISVEA has the opportunity to analyze every year over 100,000 wine samples originating in every part of Italy and many wine areas of the world. Moreover, we can carry out most of the determinations with dedicated and accredited techniques in accordance with UNI 17025 standard. Finally, once the source data are processed in the cloud to generate the desired parameters, these shall be made available to the whole winery team in real time to take immediate decisions. This must happen as quickly as possible from data acquisition with the least time waste for the operators. So, this was the idea, moving on to the concrete implementation of the concept outlined, the strategic choice of the detector fell on the best available performance to cost ratio that we found on the market. This being the TDI assemble FTIR spectrometer, which is a very high performance detector. It allows a huge information content, high repeatability, easy alignment, easy maintenance, little or no sample treatment and last but not least a small sample quantity and it's very fast and time saving here it is in three years is there created a database of thousands of samples that have been counter analyzed for nine basic parameters using reference analytical techniques Furthermore, new parameters that will fit with the detection technique will be implemented and made available on the platform over time. Platform, which of course represents the key point of the IoT architecture. Wenda is a powerful platform dedicated to the management of data connected to full traceability. Wenda was already present in IOF 2020 for other aspects relating to wine. It was therefore the natural partner for the construction of the remote wine analysis architecture in the cloud and for the development of the application dedicated to the end user. On the screen displayed in the slide, you can see the results of a sample read in triplicate shown a few seconds after the actual processing the high repeatability of the results is well evident and the app highlights the unreliable sugar value of the two reported by representing it in red uh, after all a value of about 40 grams per liter of sugar can be fitted adequately by a low sugar calibration algorithm the composition of the analyzed wines is immediately shared with each colleague of the team who has the app on his device. So let's take a look to the 
the whole system, the whole IoT solution. Uh, I'll meet with uh, Stefano. Okay, thank you. I will. I will be. Uh, I will close in time. The one in the system represents the starting and ending point of the information flow. Here, an operator who is not required to have a particular level of specializ specialization frequently reads and generates spectra of grape, mast, and wine samples, and sends them together with spectra coming from many other wineries and laboratories in the world to the cloud resident platform where its various constantly evolving calibration functions are applied. Of course, the continuous data supply from all over the world not only gives support to make the calibration of parameters more and more robust. From the elaboration of this data, very interesting comparisons between different areas or wine growing conditions can be derived, as well as the definition of characteristic benchmarks. On the other hand, users benefit from an important alignment effect of analytical data between laboratories and wineries, even from different continents. The results are then sent back to the winery teams who can be instantly informed of products composition, compare and follow the evolution of wines, take decisions and share them in real time. Everything turns according to the speed of the work in progress. And without taking time away from the job, everyone immediately receives the parameters on their app and can elaborate them to decide if and how to act. So uh, I think I'm uh, largely in time. I remain, of course, available for any question about remote one analysis you would like to ask at the end of the webinar. Anyhow, laboratories would like to join the ISVA remote wine analysis network contributing to make the database stronger. For example, in regions where ISVA would hardly be directly present, as well as wineries, of course, can directly ask me whenever they want for information, mailing to my account display in the slide. Here is. So, thank you very much for the attention and good continuation. So, uh, nice evening to all. Thank you very much for for this opportunity. I'm here. I'm uh, I'm Mattia, as you can read, and as Juliano said, I am the co-founder of Wenda, that is an uh, yeah a startup, food tech startup, and we arrived. We will present something that was reached. Also, thank you to the IOF uh, project funding and network. Thank you very much also to all the, the components of, of this amazing project. So um, yeah, Wenda is uh, an access startup backed by international investors that have headquarters in Italy, but uh, international operations. Uh, we have a proven international experience in the wine market for temperature, data monitoring and tracking. Having started our business with a patent for temperature condition monitoring, monitoring five years ago, and having led the and uh, coordinated the use case 3.6 um, within IOF called beverage integrity tracking. This project is, uh, is involving more than 50 companies and have great partners such as Vinidea, Sive, Isvea that already presented, Bini Dash and High Clare Consulting. We are here to present you how to take the opportunity to not waste efforts made in the field or in the cellar, because we have seen how the wines can be subjected to bad, bad temperatures while traveling around the world. But also a uh, lack of temperature control can happen in the cellar and visibility there of product integrity is also crucial. Basically for avoiding the valuation of your brand, uh, missed sales and uh, damage to product quality. As you all know, uh, better than me, wine is a living product. I mean, 
we push a lot to don't make it ruined just because there is no visibility or you think there is no possibility to have visibility in, in, in the entire supply chain. It was also said farm to fork. Take the chance to, to protect it. We have created Wenda. Uh, at the moment, the only collaborative and universal platform for managing, controlling temperature and traceability data from farm to fork, supporting different IoT devices, uh, measuring tools and systems that help uh, you gain real-time temperature monitoring and tracking from the seller actually to the wine shop, getting loyalty from your customer and also brand storytelling to enhance collaboration while embracing the opportunity of digitization, which is very, very important nowadays. Companies can subscribe to different software models that can bring visibility and data management to specific supply chain processes. For example, the shipment, the storage, the storage, the analysis is also said by Stefano of Isvea and so on. If the company uh, doesn't have IoT devices or data loggers or measurement tools, we can provide it uh, to the company itself by third parties. We can resell it to supply this. But if the company already have, if you have monitoring systems or IT system in place, we can seamlessly connect with them via uh, simple and very uh, plug and play API. Let's have a deeper look on, on the Wenda models. To start, I want to, uh, to start with an example and a question to you. You know everything of your child, right? Until he or she stays at home, but the question is, when it leaves, he or her leaves your house? And when your wine leaves your winery? With the shipment module, we'll let you check the condition of the goods in transit, from the temperature to location to the humidity, to, to the humidity sensors, enabling you to save money by optimizing logistics, avoid product losses, which is very important, and monitoring um, logistics performance and automating controls. Even if you are not responsible for the goods that are delivered because the brand on the bottles is the yours. Plus we are linking the possibility uh, with an insurance policy, uh, an insurance partner of an insurance policy to protect, protect uh, by bad handling in the shipment, which is not only uh, broken bottles, but also uh, heat damages. And so th this is very important because um, the wine, as you all know, can follow very, very different paths. And it is crucial to not make it ruined just because we don't have visibility on the shipment. But taking a step back in the supply chain, consider again the child example. Still, when your child is at home, you have to have control on him or her, right? Here we are um, for the aging barrels or stored wine. We help you digitize the control of the temperature and humidity of it. Check if the aging seller and uh, check the aging seller and the correct functioning of, for example, the refrigeration system of your house while saving time and product quality in doing this. Also here, we are linking an insurance policy for this specific case. And if there is already a monitoring system, very happy to connect to it. We are agnostic from the IoT hardware point of view. Then, as already mentioned by Stefano Visvea, uh, in the, um, with the NetTest USK 3.2, we are uh, part of the platform that is behind uh, the analysis module, offering this model for speeding up and digitizing the analysis process. For all the models, 
uh, it is important that you can control, visualize, get reported and manage data from mobile app and web app. Choosing from a wide range of supported data loggers and measurement tools also the yours. I want to make a focus on the mobile app. We developed special functions within IOF 2020 project, use case 3.6, allowing a direct connection between retailer, so the wine shop, and the producer, making the retailer receive both marketing content directly produced by the winery and, if needed, temperature data to the producer for those shipments that are not controlled with a real-time technology. Finally, very important, it helps the producer receive direct feedback from the retailer on product issues because both of them normally are, have no chances to reach out one another. Sometimes they even don't know who they are. So let's see what some companies discovered with Wenda or are saying about it. <clears throat> first, sorry, first, let me say why uh, we are unique in the uh, landscape. Uh, we basically put together in every single software model that I presented you, uh, different measurement tools. And as you can leverage with the same platform on different models, you can have an end-to-end -end approach for visibility on your product condition. And as per we can onboard on the platform, your client, his client, up to the wine shop, we, uh, we basically are able to uh, have a real farm to fork visibility. We are not all working only on the wine, but on the wine with the with the bottles, but also with the grapes. So, I mean, we are a collaborative platform, an open platform that can connect uh, with different systems, delivering analytics, not only raw data showed on a software. So, five minutes, uh, Mattia. Yes, thanks. So, going to the to some case a first company for example discovered their courier did not maintain a temperature control the transport with the risk to compromise wine quality brand image and sales another company delivering to russia had crystallization on the bottom of the bottles that compromised quality and another another case showed how delivery to asia could be very very risky all three are showing how the monitoring system that guarantee full visibility uh, all along the, the chain is needed to secure from one side maximum product quality to customers all over the world and more, um, more uh, efficiency in the chain itself. Still, for example, in the IF project, uh, the use case 3.6 users um, showed how interesting and useful is the system for their daily work and uh, how it is uh, it has been useful to them. Again, uh, in the project, we worked with more than uh, 50 players in the industry, tracking dozens and dozens of shipments and understanding how also the mobile app that I presented before is useful to directly connect the wine shop with the producer. They both are too many times disconnected and don't know much on the product conditions. Then I want to present you another case going to the end of a wine distributor selling to Asia connected to an auction house. And we are helping their export and logistics department to take care of the wine, both in sea and air shipments, discovering bad treatments of the product, changes of plan in the delivery, uh, making delay and ensuring a perfect final quality. Also for those kind of products going so far, such as in inland China or Hong Kong. And we here we are looking on how to give visibility on the warehouse. Other case in which the producer of very good wine shipped from South to North Italy had advantage having a look on the ground freight, ground freight transportation. So not only internationally, bad temperatures can happen. 
Last case I want to present you is another player that have not only used the Wenda system to take care of the quality of its product, of his product, while managing the risk of um, losing potential revenues, but look at the possibility to use Wenda as a sales leverage towards the import in the US. In the end, to conclude, uh, we are here. Don't miss the opportunity to embrace innovation as all the cases before also uh, presented. And here to embrace innovation, to gain visibility on your product condition entire along the entire supply chain. Don't hesitate to reach out to me or my colleague Andrea that is in the slide. And thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Giuliano. Good evening to everybody. Uh, I will present uh, Valor Italia's use case within IOF 2020 project. Uh, the title of uh, our use case is uh, IoT tools to enhance and strengthen the certification of quality wines. Um, why did we choose quality wines and what do we mean with this uh, term? Uh, quality wines include uh, both PDO and PGI wine, so protected denomination of origin and protected geographical indications, and also organic wines. And we choose them for two main reasons. Uh, firstly, because wine is the most regulated product in Europe, uh, and in Italy there are um, more than 500 PDO, PGI ty types of wine. And secondly, in order to have two different uh, um, methods uh, of a certification approach. Uh, process certification in the case of uh, PDO, um, in the case, sorry, of organic standard and product certification in the case of PDO conventional wines. But who is Valor Italia? Valor Italia is the main control and certification body for wines in Italy, and we certify more than 80,000 PDO PGI conventional wine companies, uh, and also more than 2,000 organic operators. Uh, here you can see also some different logos because we provide a wide range of uh, certifications such as uh, integrated production or uh, sustainability certification such uh, as Equalitas. But regarding um, the, uh, the wine certification, um, we, uh, every year we uh, inspect uh, around uh, 12,000 um, vineyard and cellars. We sample more or less 50,000 um, wine samples because every uh, wine bottle that you can find on, on the market has been certified and analyzed by a control body as we are. Uh, and we certify and control uh, from the grape to the bottle until uh, the issuing of uh, the government seal, the government label that you can find on the neck of, uh, of the bottle. Um, but we, which were our needs that brought us uh, to participate in IOF 2020? Uh, as a cert certification body, we need uh, to manage a lot of data, and they are often managed through different databases. For this reason, the auditor had a lot of paperwork to prepare uh, in the office before the audit. And the photo here is uh, an example. <laughs> and there was also a biz big risk of mistake during the audit uh, due to the, to the manual filling, uh, filling in on, of the, the audit report. And consequently, there was a low efficiency of inspections due to the impossibility to access databases uh, in real time. But uh, for this reason, uh, we decided to develop two applications for, for smartphone or tablet, which is now the most uh, popular smart device, in order to have uh, the audit report to fill in directly on the tablet and have uh, the connection to all databases needed to consult data in real time uh, during the audit. We also introduced uh, virtual reality as a training tool for inspectors, but uh, I'll come back to this point uh, later. Um, starting from the vineyard audit, the, the inspector has to understand the right position of the, the, plot, uh, the plots under control uh, and all the cadastral data, such as the kind of wine variety, 
the surface, uh, the, the area, uh, and so on. So uh, everything that, it, that is registered on the national database in order to check if it, it complies with uh, the reality. And for the uh, organic control, uh, it is also compulsory a check on, um, on, a on the farm log logbook in order to control the, the historical uh, agronomic data, uh, agronomic practices. Here are listed a lot of uh, databases used in this kind of control, so you can imagine the, the challenge to connect to connect all of them with our database. Uh, something uh, still to be refined, but we are in the, the final phase of the project. And here there is a, a sort of example of our uh, application for vineyard inspection. So how it looks like, uh, this, uh, there is, uh, um, as I mentioned, the report of, uh, of the inspector to, to fill in, uh, the connection uh, to geographical information system, and uh, to other cadastral da data the, inspect the inspector need, needs. And what about uh, the cellar control, the cellar audit? Um, the on-site control in the cellar provided the auditor checks the correspondence of wine stocks, comparing uh, the, the reality with our database and the national logbook. You must understand how much and uh, which kind of wine there is in the various barrels and vats. And for organic standard, he has also to know the analogical practices that have been done in every lot of wine. Here, uh, there is a screenshot of the so-called CIAN, the Italian National Logbook that has become digital since 2017. So it was born together with IOF 2020. Uh, and it is a cloud where all wine companies store they, their data. And here uh, you have uh, an example of uh, how uh, our database looks like. Looks like. Uh, it is called Dioniso and um, uh, here are registered all, all uh, certification steps and documents. And here you can see an example of um, the, the, the application for uh, the on-site inspection in, uh, in the cellar. Um, in this phase, um, we also tested the augmented reality framing uh, with the, the smartphone a QR code um, on the barrel and having the data shown immediately on the tablet. But uh, um, the final result was not so valuable for the auditor. So, uh, we, we stopped the testing phase uh, of, this, uh, of this part. More interesting was uh, a smart, a smart sensor to apply on BATS. Uh, thanks to a Portuguese uh, startup, WineGrid, uh, that had already developed the, the technology, we tested the sensor available in three different versions. Mm, uh, the, the sensor could be applied, can be applied applied on barrels that measure the level and temperature on the barrique, uh, or uh, the density and temperature um, on barrels and vats, both. Uh, and um, it is also available, available a sensor that um, for the remote and real-time monitoring of wine fermentation. So this uh, real-time measurement helps the winemaker to follow the kinetics of fermentation, visualizing the precise moments for new interventions. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, we tested uh, virtual reality, we, which uh, could be a training tool, uh, a good training tool uh, um, for inspector because we can offer a compulsory annual training directly from our office, uh, saving time and money. After the pandemic situation all around the world due to COVID-19, this tool is also a useful market tool for wine companies. Uh, they can offer to their importers, for example, a complete guided tour uh, of their cellar um, directly from the other part of the world, 
or for example, they can invite their customers uh, for a 360 degrees tour of the wine company, uh, also during a fair such as Vinitaly, Provine and so on. And finally, I, I will tell you uh, about the pros and cons, uh, starting from uh, the difficulties that we had to face. Uh, the interoperability among uh, databases was not so easy and immediate due to different situations um, in Italian regions. Uh, more or less, every region has its own database, so you can imagine uh, the challenge. Another dif difficult aspect was uh, the connection um, among sensors um, in rural areas. We tested different uh, kind of uh, connection, but taking into, ac into account the, the rapid evolution of this kind of things. Uh, for example, at the beginning of the project, uh, the 4G, the connection 4G was a new innovation, and now there is already the 5G. Five minutes, uh, Francesca. Okay, thank you. I will end soon. Uh, but uh, concerning positive, positive aspects, uh, we reached uh, our goal uh, of uh, reduction of paper and uh, human errors. So when mm, this project, this uh, pilot will be at full capacity, uh, this could really improve uh, the efficiency of our audits. Uh, now uh, we are still in a pilot, uh, we are still in a testing phase, but we believe that this will uh, change uh, our daily work. And um, finally, uh, so uh, yes, uh, considering the, the pandemic uh, uh, situation uh, that uh, there is still uh, in, all over the world, um, what we develop uh, became urgent and fundamental. Uh, for example, last March, there was uh, even a EU regulation which stopped any in-person audit. So now we are still in a difficult phase. And uh, for this reason, any safe and secure solution to run um, in-person audit remotely is welcomed. So um, here are uh, our contacts. Uh, if uh, you want uh, any further uh, clarification, we are available. Uh, my colleagues, uh, Matteo Barleracchi, the use case leader, and uh, Andrea Zafonato, the, the IT manager um, of Valor Italia, will be at your disposal for uh, questions. And thank you very much.